Okay guys, take freaking three again. This is seriously my third time making this video. So either the first time my, my memory was jacked up so I had to delete some of my stuff off. Second time, um, I got a phone call and then the third time it just like done something crazy. So I'm like, you know what? I put my phone on airplane mode and I'm like, this has got to be it, seriously. So anyways, it's Monday and I figured I'd come on here and do a little quick update well, not really so much of much of an update, but um, y'all can just join me while I eat this lasagna here. It's just one of those TV dinner top deal things. And anyways, as you can see, yes. And I put like two pieces of cheese in there because it makes cheese makes everything you know better. Right? So that's what I'm doing. And I'm If you see me looking out that way, it's because this guy's mowing for us, and I gotta keep a watch because I gotta pay him, so make sure he's not done and not leaving or whatever. So, my kids went back to school today. Last week was fall break. Had plans doing some things with them, and um, most of y'all probably know that my grandma passed away, so during that time and before I was going backwards and forth going down there visiting her and spending time with her and stuff and so they had fall break and it was sort of like a I guess downtime for them my poor kids have been through so much like through death and stuff here lately so here it is October <clears throat> normally I like get these little ghost things and let the kids decorate outside and do pumpkins with them and stuff I've not even done that yet so I was telling my kids, I was like, you know, one day this week, we're gonna go, actually I might go tomorrow or some time or another, buy some pumpkins. And even though we have cheerleading practice three or four days a night or a week and then church, we will do pumpkins. I don't care if we sit up late, we're gonna get our pumpkins done because they need to do it and I wanna do it. But that's, what I have planned to do this week. And I've come to realize that, you know, death is hard, losing your loved ones hard. Man, do I know that. I've done lost my parents and all of my grandparents now. I know it's horribly hard. And I know that I'm a strong person I do know since my mamaw died at first, I should just make a whole different video and talk about it, but I didn't think that, and I may do one later sometimes, but I don't like talking about it because it makes me sad. I didn't think that I could even um, go to her funeral or any of that. Like I just about backed out. Like I felt within my spirit, I didn't have the strength. But um, you know, I had people praying for me and you know friends praying for me and stuff like that and I managed to get through it but anyways I come to realize that you know life is like a season we're here one day we're gone the next and we have to realize that we can't hang on to everybody forever and enjoy the times that we did have with them when they pass on and like you know we're going to be sad when they're gone but we have to put that we have to step in our faith to know that God's going to give us the strength to get through that and just little by little each day believe that God's going to help us that's what I'm going to do this whole process with my mamaw oh my Jesus it literally and I know this is another downer video, but this is what you're dealing with right now. And I do apologize for that too, but <clears throat> it's been so hard. And <clears throat> like, I had weighed myself like the other day, like two days ago. Just, you know, I'm just curious, seeing how much I weighed. I've lost like four or five more pounds and I'm like, wow. You know, losing weight's good, but guys, TMI, I don't want my boobies to shrink anymore and I don't want my butt to shrink anymore and that's what happens when you lose weight. Your boobies shrink and your butt shrinks. LOL. But 
stress to do numbers on you. And so I come to realize I've got to focus on me and my kids and my husband and let everything level out. Because since my mamaw's been sick, I've been running and not going and visiting her and just, it's been chaotic. A lot of worry, some stress. But that's what's been going down here. Um, she's in a much better place. But, <clears throat> anyways, weather here in Tennessee is looking really good. Like you can tell the fall, you know, it's coming and like the leaves are pretty and it's crispy outside. I love it. I love it, guys. These things are always so good. Oh my God, I love it. Especially when you put the cheese in there, they're good. Tootsie, what are you doing? <clears throat> I did sing at my mamma's funeral and the and at the burial. And like I said, that first day, like after she had passed, I fought it so hard. I'm like, I ain't going to the funeral home. I'm not going to the burial. I can't do it. Like I fought it every single day. And I had to pray because that morning when I got up to bury her, I fought it hard. And I think the reason being is cause like, I was so close to my grandma, like, Lord, I went, me and my kids went down there all the time, you know? And like, she was my everything. You know, I lost my mom and my dad. But my mama was the one that, you know, I could go to with. That woman never judged me, never judged anyone. Her advice that she gave to everybody was, if you're going through something, take it to God, and God will show you which way to go. And that that was anything. Even if it was stuff that she wouldn't agree with, she wouldn't sit and, like, judge you or, you know, bicker backwards and forth. I mean, it was just, you know. I hope one, one day to be a grandma as much as she was. But within myself, I think that the way I feel, like I may do a video about her sometime, I don't know. I just want to not, you know, talk about it and just let it go. That's how I feel. Because when it gets brought up, I get very emotional. And another thing that I want to tell you guys before I forget is... Thank y'all for the prayers. I appreciate it. Even on my, on the Dollar Tree video. All of the comments that y'all were praying and stuff really means a lot. And I really do appreciate that. Because in times like these, you need all the prayers you can get. And by the way, these are like, I had these back two or three days ago. When me and the kids went to my mamaw's house. Um, but God really worked in his way because he made it to where the day before she died, I got, I got to see her, like she woke up for 15 minutes and I went to the hospital that Thursday and she died that following Monday, I think it was, or Tuesday maybe, I can't remember, but, uh. Rusty. No, no.
excuse me guys I had to pay him but anyways God really like really put it in like my favor that I got to see her and then Thursday talked to her and then whenever Johnny came in that last week excuse me um she was like going in a coma and then she woke up that evening and we sat and talked for like maybe 15 minutes so God's good and I, my heart and soul's at peace that she's not suffering anymore and she's in a better place but you know of course when you deal with losing a loved one on the other side you miss them you know you want to miss all the times you've had together and Christmas and stuff's coming up but you know God's given me four kids and a husband and I have my other family left and I don't have a lot of family left but it's all good. God's got it. Someone will eat these chips on them. I'm going to sweep these floors. And I drink this. But anyways, guys, again, thanks for the prayers and stuff. Um, Really blessed to have you all. And <clears throat> until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.